Good afternoon, this is my shaman oracle reading for this new week. Today is Monday and today I'm reading for Aries, Taurus, Gemini and Cancer. And this reading here now is for Cancer. Welcome Cancer. The reading starts with the wild unknown archetype stack and the card for you is the shadow. The shadow stands for the unspeakable the unwelcome and the denied. Although every card in the archetype stack has a shadow side, a shadow potential, this card is asking us to delve into the qualities of the shadow itself. We often think that a shadow needs to be illuminated and made right through our efforts and achievements Yet the truth is that in order to pursue ascension and perfection, we need the shadow to become aware of the missing light in our life. When we reject parts of ourselves, we begin to separate ourselves and the world. By avoiding the presence of the shadow, we never get to know the qualities and the content of our true selves and this then is called denial so when this card appears we need to take inventory of all that we so easily dismiss when our mind speaks to us in terms like no anything but that we connect to our shadow so embrace the deep inner work and move toward the shadow with patience and with compassion. Think about what it is you despise about yourself. When this card's meaning is light, it relates to revealing unconscious aspects of the self and the world. And when this card's meaning is dark, it relates to denying unconscious aspects of the self and the world. And now comes the card relating to the second shaman oracle that I got, or shamanen oracle in German language. And this one is also having 40 soul cards and the card that came out for you is called the warrior and i believe we had already a warrior in one reading today yes we did it was for taurus but it was from another deck namely the white unknown archetype deck and your warrior is now from the Shamanen Oracle. And it says, get ready for the most difficult fight of your life. It is not your usual fight, but rather the fight to overcome yourself. You fight for your own fulfillment. You fight the freedom from old habits that long needed to be past habits and you fight to shed prejudice such is the hunt of the difficult and you need a protective shield of courage determination tenacity and independence to no longer rely on what other people might think so the card shows the shaman with a shield in front of him and this shield could also be the medicine wheel. On the one side is a kind of a heavenly plant and on the other side there are some animal tracks. The shaman wears a horned animal mask to gain more powers and to hide his true identity so that he is not recognized by others. 
The true warrior is not the one who kills an animal or a human being. The true warrior is one who conquers himself. So this seeking shaman can be both male and female. And says the card, a fight of another type is needed. No traditional fight but the overcoming of your own self, seeking your higher meaning in your life. No easy task, for sure. Some people, they go through life without ever finding out that higher meaning. We are asked to fight, which makes us weak, scared, hostile and untrue to ourselves. And this card is asking us to fight the fight of our life. The message here is to check out today if you follow the preconceptions of other people instead of your own. Wear a mask of uninvolvement instead of letting other people involve you in their fights. Only fight your own fights. And make sure your fights are worth fighting for and they are for a good cause. With regards to relationships, the biggest challenge is to keep balance in your relationships. Don't let others use you so that they can solve their own problems. Make no critical comments to satisfy other people. Only make them when you need to say important things. You need self-control and self-awareness. That is the war path of the true warrior. That is the war path of wisdom. So look at your life as a fight. A fight to find more clarity, peace, security, power, insight and love. The Kremolkin's Curious Cat's Tarot card that came out is Ace of Pentacles and the card is dedicated to the cat by you. The path to manifest your dreams is unfolding and if ever there was a time to have faith in the universe, it is now. The cat of the ace of pentacles sets aside any doubts or fear and focuses their energy on utilizing all available resources to draw the bright and shiny pentacle that holds unlimited potential. When the ace of pentacles arrives in your reading, Take note of your self-talk around a situation. Are you going in with a sense of optimism or does your mind gravitate toward doom and gloom? You are being directed to control the narrative by taking concrete steps that will help you achieve your goal. When the Ace of Pentacles is present, taking a practical approach, one that avoids the trap of fantasy, will lead to greater success. You have, at this time, the power to create a situation you desire, but it must begin with a grounded approach. The key to manifesting is believing with all your heart that the outcome is already waiting for you. However, it is not going to be delivered. You will need to take steps to reach it. So have faith that when you take action, that the seeds you sow, they will grow. The end result may not magically appear overnight, but with patience and taking realistic, reasonable steps, when the time is right, you will be rewarded. 
when the energy attributes are positive it says that you take decisive practical action you open the channel for prosperity by having faith that all will work out in the end and when the energy attributes are negative you lean too heavily on faith becoming too materialistic and the tarot of the divine card that came out for you is the ten of swords and the ten of swords relates to canada and to inuit mythology called sedna the ten of swords represents backstabbing and betrayal of some kind sedna's father pushed her from his boat and chopped off her fingers when she tried to cling to his boat so she sunk to the bottom of the ocean and became consumed with wrath eternally seeking revenge so the card is about some kind of bitterness some betrayal some rock bottom martyrdom and severing some ties and the sacred forest oracle card that came out is called daffodil fairy and the daffodil fairy is about new beginnings you feel a tap on your shoulder and in a flash of yellow you see a daffodil fairy fly by you in a high sweet voice she says to you that the best is yet to be it is time for a new beginning with clee you race after her into the forest life goes in cycles just as spring follows winter a new cycle is beginning in your life in the phases of the earth the plants die in the fall so that there can be new births in the spring it is the universal dance of death and rebirth there is a time to end and a time to begin and this is the close of one cycle and the beginning of another we associate the daffodil with spring as it is one of the first flowers to emerge after the snow its shape echoes the feeling of trumpeting in the new season and its color suggests vitality radiance and lots of sunshine the appearance of this card brings a message to wipe the slate clean it is time to release the old and to start the new it can be difficult to release familiar routines situations or relationships when they no longer empower you however your higher self encourages you to not cling to the old but set sail into new waters if you find yourself afraid to let go daffodil fairy urges you to face your fears and allow yourself to stretch in a new direction the creator is at your side and wonderful opportunities will be born in your life wholeness occurs when you can say yes to both the endings and the beginnings the spirit of the daffodil fairy says to you it is time to start a new project or a new cycle life force and vitality they are emerging so release that which doesn't serve and support you make way for a new start because success is at hand so that's a very good closing i think for the reading 
So, Cancer, I hope you enjoyed the reading. I thank you very much for listening. I wish you a wonderful Monday. I wish you a great new week. Take care and goodbye.